How do we iterate over the items in a dictionary? There's no indices like in lists, so we can't use for i in range. But we can use a for each loop. We have the keyword for, the loop variable name, the keyword in, and then the dictionary name, followed as always by a colon. But what do you think the loop variable holds on each iteration? When we iterate over a dictionary, the loop variable holds the next key. So we name our loop variable descriptively, based on what the keys in the dictionary represent. Here, my dictionary keeps track of word frequencies in a text. So my keys are all words, and my values are all counts. Python iterates over dictionaries in insertion order, meaning the order the items were added. So on the first iteration, the loop variable word will hold the key it. On the second iteration, it'll hold the key is. And on the third iteration, it'll hold the key what. And now that we've reached the end of the dictionary, the loop terminates. If I want the associative value inside the loop body, I just access it using the key. So now this prints out its value, two, is its value, two, and then what's value, one. What if I want to know what percentage of words were used more than once? I need to keep track of the number of words whose count is greater than one. The total number of unique words is just the length of the dictionary. I'm using a very small dictionary here so we can trace it, but you can imagine this analysis would be a lot cooler with a dictionary with more words. Notice that my loop body only really cares about the values. It never uses the key on its own. For situations like this, Python provides two dictionary methods, values and items. There is also a keys method, though we don't need it here. This means we can iterate over a dictionary in three ways, by key, by value, and by item or key and value. We can achieve all of the same things just by iterating by key, but these alternate syntaxes help make our code a bit cleaner depending on what we're trying to do. So back to our program, we can change it to iterate by value. We call the values method on our dictionary, and then we update our loop variable, since now it represents the next value in the dictionary. Okay, how about iterating by item? We call the items method on our dictionary, and then the loop variable holds the next item, meaning the next key value pair. But what data type is that? In Python, we call this a tuple. A tuple is just the immutable form of a list, defined with parentheses instead of square brackets. We can index into a tuple, but we can't mutate it. So if we want to access the key, it'll be the first element in the tuple. And the value is the second element. A bit annoying to have to write that out, because the key will always be at index 0, and the value will always be at index 1. Fortunately, Python gives us a shortcut called variable unpacking. We can unpack an iterable type, like a tuple or a list, into several different variables, all in a single assignment. So we can unpack our item tuple into its key and value by putting a comma in between the two variable names. Word will contain the first element, and count will contain the second. And to make this even easier, we can inline this unpacking into our for statement. On each iteration, the loop variable word contains the next key, and the loop variable count contains the next value. Be extra careful with this syntax, because it's easy to forget the comma or the dot items and end up with a weird error. We can calculate the same result, just iterating by key. But if we need both the key and the value in the loop body, iterating by item often makes this a lot cleaner. So how do these methods actually work? The keys, values, and items methods all return a special dictionary view type. This is an iterable type, meaning we can iterate over it, but it's not quite a list. Instead, it's an optimized view into the existing dictionary. You can think of it like a special little window into the computer's memory, where we can peek in on specific parts of the dictionary. Like the values method gives us a window into just the dictionary values. We can cast a dictionary view to a list if we need to index into it. But if we're just iterating over it, the cast is not necessary. In fact, it's not optimal. 
As soon as we cast this dictionary view to a list, the computer copies over all of these values to a new location in memory. Whereas if we just use the dictionary view directly, we're just peeking at the memory where the original dictionary is stored. Implementation aside, the big takeaway is that we can iterate over a dictionary by key, by value, and by item. The choice is just up to what data you need.